Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to creating a technical drawing or what you might know as a trade sketch. So the key thing you'll use here is the pen tool, so shortcut P. We'll go through the adding the anchor points and altering as we go. So to start, you might get given a sample garment that a customer wants you to redesign or you might have an image that you've drawn. So you just scan that in and make sure you lock that image. So what you do is the shortcut is Command 2 on the Mac and Alt Command 2 to just release it. So make sure that's locked and that's all ready to go. So you can draw directly on the top. So you'll, you always work on one layer. The other thing is you need your guides. So Command R is a shortcut for your guides. Otherwise you can go into View and Rulers, so Rulers. And that's where you grab your guides from. So first thing, grab your guide and pop it in the middle of your garment. Like so, if you can't see it, Command colon, lets it appear and disappear. So ideally you want to trace just half the garment and then flip, flip it over and then connect up the middle so it's perfectly symmetrical like the example. So firstly to start, P for pen tools, shortcut. Now you can see here you can't see the line, so on the stroke we'll have that as black. And then if I were to keep going I would get that bump, which I don't want, so Command Z. So just tell the, um, the line that you're changing the direction like so. Uh, and then I don't really want such a high cut like shown. Sort of want to have a bit more of a curve. So I might sort of just curve it like so. Um, if I'm not happy with the line, just go into the anchor points and adjust them a little bit. Yep, I'm happy with that. Again, P for pen tool, back onto the pen tool. If you touch on the edge, you can pick that line up again and back to the center. And at this point, it's important to press shift. That means as it enters here, it's perfectly straight. And that's going to help us when we reflect it. In terms of the peplum area, I'll start slightly in, as you'll see soon. Why? Might want to hold shift to get a specific line. Mm. Undo. Okay. Now for this one, you can sort of create a larger shape and you'll see when we reflect it in a moment why it's okay to do it that way. Um, the last one would be like so. Okay, so we've got our key shapes here and we'll do the back shortly. So first select all your shapes and the shortcut is zero which gives you this little symbol and you click on the guide in the middle of the guide and it just indicates that your technical is flipping on this edge so then it's alt for copy and shift clicks into space so if I didn't press shift it would just keep moving perfect now we want this to be one shape so we'll use our key selection tool here and command J or you can right click and join. Let's move in a little bit more. And then we want to carefully try and select just those two points and again command join and this should now become one shape. Let's see. Bang. So same thing with the others. There are already two shapes. We want this one towards the front, so you can right click and bring to front. Otherwise, Command and the bracket key brings it forward. And this one we want at the very front. 
and then these two shapes which will be the underlay you can see here we'll use the pathfinder tool and we can merge them I to copy the shape of the fill and again bring your other shapes to the front so that's your basic shape if you want to tweak it a little bit as you might want to you may want to add a point in so P and you can use the plus or the minus so zooming in or out similar so plus Add, your, add an anchor point. I might just want to straighten that out a little bit. And then a trick to reducing the amount of curve is so it's shift to C, um, which is this one here. And if you click there, it just takes that curve out. So I may just Recopy that over again. Zero clicking the center. That wasn't quite in the center. Hey, okay. Do that again. Zero click. Shift Alt. There we go. Doesn't really bother me which ones at the front. I guess. Again, if you want to do a little bit of tweaking, you might use your little arrow keys. One, two, three. One, two, three. But try and get in the habit of completing one side and then flipping it and um, not doing that too much because you can run into trouble a little bit. So you can select the tiers. There we go. I kind of think that works quite well. So the other thing I need to do is the back section there. So you can see it's just a shape at the back. So same thing again. P for pen. Try and get the straight area over there, and it can be really any shape you like, because it will be flipped anyway. So again, select zero, click, alt, shift, two of them together, boom, and again, bring this to the front. There we go. So that's our shape, roughly. Now, to add some details, such as some design lines, maybe some darting, it's, uh, it's a great idea to use, let's just put that on white for now, let's tweak that a little bit as well, one, two, three, yeah, a bit of a better shape, I think. The other thing that we can use is a brush. So this brush here, you can do a little tester, it tapers off, so it's really great for creating like shaping or um, fold lines or that kind of thing. So again, get your guides back, the middle guide, so command colon and P for pen and If you were going to create a strong dart, which is a bit too strong, you may use that tool. Otherwise, <coughs> you might put in a design line. To, to emphasize your shaping instead, <coughs> then you wouldn't worry about adding that. Um, what else? And then if you had a pleat like shown below, you draw it in and click and you might have another one as well. Yep. So again, if that's coming slightly over, just click your other objects and bring them to the front. We'll almost go to the back. So again, reflecting, select your elements. Zero, click, alt to copy it, shift. Yeah. 
That one's got a fill there, which we don't need. So just click that on. And this one. Sometimes you're slightly off. So you might need to zoom in. Zero. Alt. Shift. And technicals aren't perfectly symmetrical, and that's fine. Again, grab your main layers, bring them to the front. And that's about it. If you wanted to add some stitch lines, so for example, if you had some stitching around the armhole, you could select that one line, Control C, Control, uh, sorry, Command C, Control, Command F. The copies in front. We don't need the fill, so we can dash to get rid of that. One little space, and go with your um, with little keys there, and stroke, and dash line. And you might change it to two. So I like two, maybe one. It's a bit thick. Five, yeah. Then you can continue the line, pen to pick up the line. You can see there, and just fill up the line. So that's pretty common. If you have a bit of top stitching, you might have, for example, this one. Control C, Control Front, click up. And then using your eyedropper, you can click onto another seam and it will copy the data. So that's always really handy. Again, flip, flip it over to the other side. Let's read our guide. Let's just do a basic seam. So just down. So there is a seam line. But maybe this dress has an individual zipper. Looks like it curves up a little bit, so I might select that area and just down. Oh, if you press shift, that area is selected. Yeah, that's better. Cool, so you click those two. Command colon again, zero. Alt, shift. And you've got your garment. Now to check it out, what it looks like without the image there below, to unlock that image is Alt Command 2. So I might just drag it to the side. So that's a different variation of the one I did previously. To finish it off on a board, last important step is to just add a stronger outline. So what I do is select the whole thing, Control C, Control uh, so Command C, con Command B, which sends it to the back. So it copies it, sends it to the back. Make it all one. And you can see something's gone on there. But we can fix that and then just move that point up a little bit. So point three is pretty good. Don't know what happened there, so let's check it out. So sometimes you can just move things once or twice. Oh, let's have a look. Control C, Control B, and there we go. So when you're presenting something on a board, it's usually better to have a thicker outline. So there's different variations you can do. And this is one I prepared earlier. So I haven't got that thicker edge um, because this one, the focus is re was really a print and demonstrating how the print can go in the technical. Um, so that's basically it. The key things you need to know, rulers, guides, using the pen tool, Having one other stroke that you can mix and match to create some different like sort of layers and um, and effects, and and reflect always doing half and reflecting over, and that's it.